Hello, hi, I'm Patricia and welcome to my channel. I'm here to talk to you about really a lot of Twin Flame stuff. And I say Twin Flame stuff loosely, but this is all brand new. And if you've been here, you probably are aware that, you know, you're anchoring something, you're, you're holding energies. If this is new to you, it can be really confusing. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get your man or how to get your woman. Because yes, LGBTIQ twin flames exist. I have talked to people who have intersex because they have genetic things. I've talked to gay twins, lesbian twins, and trans people, and everything in between. Okay, not everything is hetero. It is a spectrum, first of all. So yes, this is not just about how to get your man. But it is how to get your twin flame, the real twin flame and will the real twin flame please stand up? So a few things I want to talk to you about is that it is to bring sexy back. I want to clear up some misconceptions out there. This is about love and romance. Hello, it's about love and romance. Hello, you have a heart. Your heart needs nurturing. You need touch. You need kissing big time. You need love, affection. I mean, you can't just sublimate that into petting the dog or having a hobby because that part of you, guess what? The real love connections are on the inside. They're on the inside, especially to your heart. You have an emotional body. It sits over your heart. Yes, you can get your feelings hurt. We are in an en energy right now where People are going to get their feelings hurt because a lot of little hidden things are going to come out that just kind of hurt you, even with people you love and care about. Brotherly love is completely different than 5D love. And that's what we're talking about. So it is most definitely to bring sexy back. Yes, Justin Timberlake, thank you. But bringing sexy back and ending separation. Why is that? Because people have separated love and sex. They have sex and they don't feel love. I recently saw a little bit of a podcast where a lady was interviewing a gentleman. And he was a gentleman. He spoke properly. But he was talking about the male experience. And he was pretty much saying they might feel an emotion in the present moment during sex. But it's mostly a physical experience. Guess what? When you're a twin flame, it is a full-on energetic, metaphysical, and physical experience. Now, the metaphysical is going to carry you because physically, there is a separation. You may not be with each other. In fact, the majority of people are not together with their real person. Okay? So stick with me. We got a little more ground to cover here. It is to stop codependencies. Why do people do that? Because they're used to frag having to fragment parts of themselves. Get a little bit here, get a little bit there. Be a chameleon, match themselves to fit the situation. How to get help, how to seem like the damsel in distress. Or how to seem like, you know, a rock hard bitch about something. And, you know, these things aren't necessary anymore. Because your brand new twin flame body can help attract what you need magnetize what you need for each other because there's two of you. Here's the paradox. You do you, it does you too. Two. Two of you. Okay? Double the fun, double the love. Amplified. Not amplified pain, but amplified love. Yes, it is romantic. Why? Because love at any level makes you feel like giving. It makes you feel like doing things even when there's no reciprocation. You know what? In 3D, that's why it's been separated because people use sex to manipulate love feelings in order to get what they need just to like have basic, basic survival. We don't need to do that anymore. It is passion, okay? So the connections for love are above you and they're inside you. They are above and they're inside. The above, okay, as above, so below. And all these stories that you've heard, they're actually twin flame primers. 
And we're in a different timeline now where we can actually implement it. We can actually do it. Are you doing it, though? Because a lot of people are just holding and holding and holding, but they're not working with their light body daily. They're not integrating their brand new twin flame body, which is a new structure. It has new points, points of connection for love making. Not just sex, not just lower chakra stuff. Not just, you know, banging away and then crying and leaving and rejecting and all this other stuff. Not that. So passion is 5D. And yes, you have to do you, do your twin flame body. So I have some primetime players here who are going to show you and demo some of this stuff. Hi, I keep trying to get into you, but something seems to be in the way. I'm trying from afar. I'm trying everything. I mean, I think I'm doing it. I got a reading. I went to a gong bath. I did some drugs. Like, I can sense you, but, like, I can't figure out how to get in. I don't know why this isn't working. Well, guess what she's got? She's got her menstrual cycle stuff, which has been through her ancestry and throughout history. She's got to get rid of that old cycle. It's just for making babies to make the species survive. Oh, here's a biggie. What's he going to feel about this? Other men have been here. What do you mean other men have been here? What? Do I got to go off on someone and go hard? No, no. Take it easy. There's a new way. Okay, we're not fighting. You don't have to fight for the woman. Because you could get killed. Have, have you thought about that? I don't care, man. I don't care. I'll go hard. You, that's not love. That's just like your hormones, okay? Stop being hormonal. Other men have been here. How do we get rid of every trace of every man that's ever been in her, on her, leaning on her, trauma dumping on her? All of it, right? And we get a little deeper and there's abuse. So he can't get in until we peel off these layers and we get her brand new light body opening. As she does this, she's going to lift up and feel much lighter and new, renewed, rejuvenated, but actually new because the light body, the twin flame body, five subtle, five main subtle bodies is new. We've never done this before. I keep trying to get into you too. And I just can't figure it out. I try to, you know, read your mind. Oh, man. Okay. I Well, don't knock me. Don't be condescending. I, I'm not. I'm just like, I'm not used to being nice to women. Well, you were nice enough sometimes and I can sense it in you. I know you're sweet. Okay. Anyways, I keep trying to get in and I can't figure out, like, you just need something and I think I can help that with for you, but I, I, I can't get in. It feels like there's walls there. Are there walls or he has ADHD and OCD big time. He gets so distracted. He's not organized. He doesn't know what to do. He's got all kinds of ideas. ADHD for twin flames is very specific something. It's a rush of all your possibilities coming in. It can be overwhelming, but not everyone knows how they can implement. This is why you need your twin flame body because it helps you sort that and implement it in a more linear fashion. I am addicted. Now, he doesn't tell people because he likes to keep it on the download, but that runs in his family, too. What do you mean you're addicted? We got to get that out. I, I, I can't get in. I can't get in. I, I know. I keep filling the hole. I keep filling the hole. I know, but I, I don't know what to do. I have no direction, and I'm shiftless. He's full of great, marvelous ideas with no absolute idea how to pull the trigger. And why? Because without integration of his twin flame body, he can't create the pathways, he can't create the routines, he can't get those doors open for the opportunities, meet the right people. But guess what? She's here to help him. They're in a far apart separation. 
but she can still help him as though he is up close and personal and that they can kiss. Did you ever do that with your dolls as a child? Yes. Just think of all the needless suffering we could end just with kissing. And we have another couple here. I keep trying to get into you. I keep trying to get into you too. But I don't know if it's walls or you're resisting. And they need to lift up using their twin flame body. And then they can do this stuff so much more easily up in the air. Like pushing a hot air balloon in the air. Pushing something. He's, he and she are not full of hot air. But there are some issues there. I feel no one takes me seriously. This is an issue for a lot of men. They can have imposter syndrome. They can wonder if they're doing it right. Instead of the self-confidence empowerment that comes when she helps both of them and he helps them to integrate their twin flame body. What's after that? Oh, well, he's sort of attractive, but people treat him like he's a sex object, like he's ready to go at all times. And this could also run in the family. It could be something that men teach each other because they do. Wait, I can't get in if everyone is looking at you and all eyes are on you. And how am I going to do that? I can feel it sometimes. It makes me feel like I'm under surveillance. I'm not doing it on purpose. Like people just look at me and I can't help it. Oh, there's a way through the twin flame body to help it. Yes, there is where you can remove those unwanted energies and attentions from people so that it solidifies and just keeps your union pure. But what does she have? Oh, she has some deep stuff. She has a phobia of water. Nobody ever taught me to swim or help me overcome and I'm so afraid, I'm afraid I'll drown. Guess what? You had a past life where you did go down with the ship. Oh my God, was I on the Titanic? I know that can sound glamorous, but there's a lot of not glamorous things that have happened to people in their past lives, leaving them with phobias. What else, when we dig here and peel off some layers, well, I get afraid and then I need to relax, And but I find out I can't hold my liquor. Well, a lot of people have that issue, and believe it or not, not everyone can break it down properly and it becomes a problem in the body. But the good news is your twin flame body doesn't want to hold that. Could you have a champagne toast at a wedding? Oh, I would love to. But yeah, I just, I feel like something changes in me whenever I do and people insist and I, I just sometimes can't say no. I know it's hard to be a people pleaser and feel like you want to, but you can gain the self-confidence and empowerment that you need to overcome these things and put it on your terms. What else? Well, this is a deep one. I never orgasm. Well, I, I've done it by myself, but even though sometimes I've dated, I just, wait, I feel like a sex object and do you get feeling like you're a sex object? Yes, sometimes I do. But I can't connect with people like it just seems because you can't connect in the lower chakras because people have been trying to separate that. Your connections are up here by the heart. That's where they need to be. And I have separation anxiety. Yes, because many things have happened and I have that too sometimes. Like people are going to leave. I know like people always seem to leave, right? We can come in. We can do this. I'm so willing to do it. Me too. So are you willing? Are you understanding that the layers can peel off through simple working on the integration? Do your twin flame body work. Okay? Only you can do it. Now this is the proactive part. I give you instructions on what to do. We have sessions or we have webinars. This is also for your health. How many of those things, how many of these things actually make people sick? Not only do they make people sick, they account for a lot of ancestral illness and patterns or whatever you want to call it. Patterns, programs, it's removable because guess what? When you in, in, 
to grade your brand new template. It does not want to hold those buckets of stuff and layers and it's made easy. You'll understand it. You'll have those aha moments and those high level experiences. And the clock is ticking because guess what? You're on a timeline where there actually is a plan and it is a part of your life plan to have a new life. New life, the lover that you need, the romance and the passion that you deserve, and actually is your birthright. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to join my webinar, please let me know. Look at the link below and watch for my upcoming live webinars. Bye now.